All right, so taping's going to be the same as when we cleaned. You want them on a stable platform. You can use your table, you can use your counter, anywhere where they're not gonna slip and slide. I like using a grooming noose too because it keeps them where I want them. You're gonna use pipe foam insulation. I like using at this age 5 8 inch. If they get older, I use a little larger 3 quarter inch. You wanna take and measure the ear from the bump. I rest my foam on that, stretch the ear up, Give yourself a little bit of room at the top and then just cut that off and those will be your foam pieces I already have one cut and it comes in various colors so I'm going to use two different colors this time it's both the same width the first thing you do is I like Zona's tape this is in one inch I take with the sticky side onto my foam and I put just one layer around the foam. The reason I do this is then I can use my posts more than once. They don't, they don't catch the gunk from the ear. You fold down in a triangle and then let the tape go around and now you're doing it with the sticky side out and just wind the tape sticky side out the whole length of the post when you get to the bottom square it off tear it and start the next one same thing sticky side down first the length of the post make your triangle fold and start with sticky side out going around the post the whole way down <coughs> and you want to try to keep this as smooth as possible so that there's no irritation to the ear so your posts are ready the next thing you want to do is get ready for the first ear this is metapor tape in two inches and it actually comes pre-cut in squares for the bottom section, I use four squares and just tape that where you can catch it handily. The middle section is going to be three squares. Again, get it ready. And the top section is going to be two squares. So you take your first one that's ready, put it at the base of the ear where the bump is, stretch the ear up like this. I'm going to scoot him around for me. I like to start going in the same direction every time, giving yourself a little bit of tape underneath that pipe foam. It helps to keep it in the ear. And you want it tautly on the ear without being too tight. After each, I do this with my nails to put the tape down beside the ear and onto the foam. Then the next one I overlap slightly going in the same direction around the ear. Again push it down onto the foam and the ear. Lastly I do the top around that tip and you want to make sure that you don't do this one too tight because there's very little circulation of blood in the tips of those ears and you don't want to close off the blood supply. Now I like to take a piece of the Zonus tape and just wrap it around the top of that tape because if the tape's going to get loose at all it seems to do it at that tip and that gives you a little more extra oomph to keep the tape on. So again I'm going to do four and three and two. Same thing. I'm going to take the ear, put this down on the bump, stretch the ear tip up along the foam. You start at the bottom and you're winding towards the fold in the ear because you want that ear folded right at its fold. 
Wrap it around, press it along the sides of the foam and the ear. Overlap slightly with the second one, going in the same direction. Bring it around. Again, with holding the tape onto the ear and the foam. And the last one, going around the ear, around the tip, and just enough tension that it's holding the ear snug, not too tight. And my piece of Zonus tape at the top again. Now the next thing you're going to do is we're going to do the brace that holds the ears like this. So you're going to take a length of the Zonus tape and you're going to judge this. I'm going to say it's about 12 inches. You want to come over here. I like to start because it's just the side I like to start on, on the, his right ear. You take the tape down to the base of what's already taped, bring it around, and connect it with your tape at the back of the ear. Then pull this ear up, and you want to start this at the back of the ear, bring it around, and connect your two pieces of tape at the back of the ear again so that that's what you have when you're done. Then I make sure all my pieces are taped together. Now what I do like to do right here tends to get a little sore. I like to lift that up just a little bit with my finger so that there's a little breathing room between the tape and the ear. Now the last thing I do is this is pipe foam insulation. And it comes in lengths at your hardware stores. I measure between the two ears so that I've got the size that's going to go from ear to ear snugly, which I already have a piece cut. That's what it looks like. You just slip it over your brace piece like that. That keeps the ears uniformly apart and up where you want them. Then I take my Zonas tape. Here, Sit. That's a good boy. And you want to tape around this slit or it will keep trying to slide off. I'll just have to do like that. And I do one on either side. So there you have the ears all posted. There's the front view. Good job. And those will stay up for about a week. Um, you want to keep sniffing at them, checking them for any odors or any areas that are irritating. And I like to just do this casually when I'm petting him. And that makes sure that all my tape stays adhered to the ears. And the last thing is he gets a treat for being a good boy. Yes. What you do? Good job. And that's my method of posting ears. <laughs>